Good morning. This is tip number 12, a note that follows about what is craving. So I gave you the short definition that we came up with for craving with basically four points to remember. Craving always arises as tension and tightness in the mind and the body. That's one. It is the I like it or the I don't like it mind. That's two. It leads to the personal attachment or aversion. And that's three. And it is the first obvious opinion, personal opinion, in the line of human cognition that leads to where suffering starts to get locked in. So this is about the problem with delusion. That's why I give you delusion before craving. Craving is about taking everything personally. And to release ourselves from craving, we have to let go and switch over to taking a look at what is really going on. Is it personal? Or can we watch what's happening with a neutral, non-judgmental mind? Can we watch an event impersonally and then decide it's not about me, it's not mine, it's not who I am, it's just what is happening, it has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end. Can I decide what to do to help the situation or observe until it is over? This was why craving was so important. And this personal aspect is what must be purified in the mind. And Godama saw that. And so now we look at the way he figured out to purify his mind. <laughs>